let us uh, let us move on a little bit. Let's go. Let's go say hello to Jimmy Conrad and the Wizards. That's right. We're going all the way back. To MLS ninety six, baby. <laughs> uh, I wasn't prepared for this one. <laughs> this wasn't in the notes. <laughs> in the door is Jimmy Conrad. Out is who gives it. <laughs> um, Nemanja Radoja on a free transfer. Graham Zusi, Andrew Fontas, and Roger Espinoza all resigned from free agency. Tim uh, Lebby labeled, excuse me, uh, on a free transfer, and Danny Flores on waivers. Uh, the only real big names out: Nicholas Ismayat Marine and Uri Rossell. Talk to me about what you think they need. I've got a pretty good one for this. All right, start us off then. No, I want you to go first. Okay, I think they need a goalkeeper. Um, Tim Melia is definitely aging out. Um, he was not great last season. And I don't feel super confident in pulse camp being the next man up. He still has obviously some time to develop. He's 21. Uh, and maybe this is the season where he gets that chance, but I kind of wish that there was maybe someone else to, to compete there. Um, center back could definitely use some more depth as well. They really only have three on the roster right now. Um, Yeah, the rest seems not too bad. Maybe some more winger depth. If you're going to play with wings, it's really just Shallowy and Johnny Russell and then uh, Sioni. I definitely butchered that, but. um, Yeah, so so they are rumored to Norbert Diomber, uh, a center back, and Gustavo Amato, a striker. The Gustavo Amato, I don't know much about because... He does not have a picture on transfer market. His market value is like 50K. Uh, I don't know if he's even real. But Norbert Giamber uh, as a center back would come in. Um, let me just pull up some information on him really quick. I agree they need a little bit of that. The biggest thing they need are three healthy designated players. Kinda There's and Polito right coming now. back. Um, Kinda oh, oh, and, they, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Kinda and Polito coming back are going to be massive for this team. Uh, it was quite clear how badly they missed both of them last year. Uh, and if they come back at 75% of what they were with Agata and Tommy behind, you know, now in the team, this team's going to be great. Uh, Norbert Giamber, by the way, a Slovenian, sorry, Slovakian center back from U.S. Solentar, Solernitana. It's the, it's the newly promoted Serie A side. Um, he has my computer decided to work. Oh, U.S. Salernitana is rumored to take Michael Keane from Everton. Please. <laughs> That's off topic. Let's stay on topic here. <laughs> We've been going for like, I feel like two hours already. No, it's only been an hour and a half, maybe. Um, he's got 28, peer- <laughs> 28 appearances for the Slovakian national team. Um, he's bounced all over Italy, um, but was with Roma for a little bit. Um, Perugia, Bari. I mean, he's been kind of all over Italy for a long time. Um, comes with some pretty good experience in the way of um, the Serie A, as well as some international tournaments, such as... Nope, no international tournaments. I lied. Just Italy and the Italian Cup. Um, but he has made basically every appearance for uh, Salertana for the last three years between Serie A and Serie B. So clearly has the experience to do well there and would slide in, my guess, to a starting spot in um, Kansas City. To me, uh, this grade, I, I don't think they needed to do a ton. I'm giving them a C+. Plus. Um, Anyone who they couldn't bring back, they had to replace. You know, Radoja for Uri Rossell does that. Uh, if they can get Giamber in for Ismiat Marine, they can do that as well. But the big thing for this team is going to be Kinda and Polito um, coming back. This team is not going to be anywhere near what the 2022 team was, and I think they'll be just fine coming into 2023. I'm going to give them a C. 
Um, I this team just feels like it refuses to move on from players from their past. Like I just, I don't, I don't really get it. They had three guys who were very much aging and were up for their contracts expired this year, and they brought all of them back. So we have you know thirty six year old Zeusy's back. 36-year-old Roger Espinosa is back. 33-year-old Fontas is back. They still have 36-year-old Tim Melia. I I don't know. It just doesn't seem like this team is willing to move on and, and give more game time to their younger players, um, which confuses me. I don't really understand that one. I, I definitely understand like having a good mix. It sh- You should have some like older veteran players to kind of be leaders on this team, but they just bring back everybody. Um, and I I don't think they've really improved the team too much in the offseason. But I don't think they got worse either. So I kind of see them at like a C. Nice. 